Do 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 It's dark in the gym. I always think it's a bit scary. How are we all? I'm fantastic, thank you for asking. Uh, I'm gonna run you through a little bit of a day in the life, but I wanted to speak to you about how to run a gym and how to make money, or at least how we make money at Scopes. Um, everything we do, different price systems, different price points. Um, basically, a little bit of behind the scenes of how the finances work, how the offers work, how the memberships work all of that sort of stuff. So if you're a PT and you're thinking about how to price your personal training sessions, if you're a gym owner, if you want to own a gym someday, if you want to see how I did it, um, I think I've got a little bit of experience in that now. Let's hope so. God, it's dead. I'm the only boring person here on a Monday morning. Um, so yeah, I've done the six o'clock class this morning, done the seven o'clock class this morning, and I've just finished bike intervals um, on the assault bike. I'll put a little screenshot of the photo here. People freak the fuck out when you're just like on a camera talking. It's a YouTube bra. Um, so what has been requested a lot of times is trying to give an insight of how I make money at the gym. Um, I'm not going to give any details because hashtag tax man. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to tell you about the runnings of it, the schemes that I've tried that haven't worked, schemes that have worked and are still in place, um, and how to try and like help you if you're a personal trainer or you're someone that wants to own their own gym one day, whether it be private or public, because I've worked in both. Um, but I need some bloody breakfast first. So let's go to the kitchen. Thanks, Ooh, the pump. So, we are in our absolute, look at you, do you want to be involved? And I just didn't know what you were doing. We are in our oh, favourite, favourite, favourite healthy gaff in Newcastle. So if you are a Newcastle based or a Gator based subscriber, I would really recommend going to New to go. Now, I'm not getting paid to say this, they're just fantastic people. They come to the gym as well and the scram is actually unbelievable. So it's like 12, it's 20 to 1 and I've ate absolutely nothing and I've trained pretty much. So I've went for the breakfast tacos and I've went for a chicken nutri roll. Two meals, don't ask, but the chicken nutri roll makes us feel mega mega healthy because it's all the stuff that I don't eat much vegetables, I don't eat many greens, I'm not the biggest fan of it so I have to force it in. But the way they do them with this pesto y sauce, which I'll show you, it is fantastic. Look at you, no respect to the YouTube, no respect. I'll try to do a video here. Yeah. Right team, sit tight, get your popcorn. I'm gonna uh, probably talk to the camera for a while, but I'm gonna try and keep it as short as possible. I'm not really gonna edit much of this. This is upper body number one for the week. I do two upper body sessions right now. Um, this is sort of overhead pushing and pulling, so it's basically shoulders, lats, and then a little bit of arms tagged on to the end. Um, so as you can see, starting with overhead presses. I think it was a strict press of 65 for six reps or something like that and i think i failed the last set um but i thought i'd run you through this this has been working really really nicely for a long time this has been the perfect sort of split that i've found for a long time and i spoke about this in one of the last videos when we were talking about how to mix bodybuilding crossfit and strength training that I would check out the last video that i did or maybe two ago and it basically tells you the best way and the best split that I've found to mix in CrossFit and bodybuilding. But anyway, we are not talking about that today. What I said and what I mentioned in the start of the video is this is all about how to best run your gym. This is the best way that I've found to sort of try and keep everybody happy and try and make sure that we are utilizing our space that we have right now at Sculpt in one unit the best way we can. The first thing to say is, we basically market from three stages or three levels of customer service. The baseline level is the Sculpt membership. That Sculpt membership includes 36 hours of coaching hours per week. It is very similar to what you would see in a CrossFit box membership. We're not a CrossFit gym, but it's very similar in a pricing sense and a pricing structure. So every single day, on a weekday, there will be a six o'clock, a seven o'clock, and a nine o'clock morning class. And then on an evening, there will be a five o'clock, a six o'clock, and a seven o'clock class. On the weekends, nine, 10, and 11 in the morning, and then done for the day. So 
for the membership, the Open In-House Sculpt Functional Fitness Membership. This is the bottom tier, in a sense. This is the most popular membership. So think of that as like, sort of, part number three to start with. Now, the next level up to that, and I'm saying the next level up to that, it's more the next level up to that in a price point. So the middle tier would be the semi-private body transformations. A semi-private transformation group is a lot more specific in the sense of value for the customer, in the sense of they get nutrition down to a T. Um, it is the personal trainer that is running that group. So we have Alex and Danny and Josie that have those transformation groups, three personal trainers and they run their own semi-private transformation groups. Now at the start of that course, those eight people in that group will only ever see and only ever meet those eight people for that set amount of time. They will have this, their designated WhatsApp group or designated Facebook group with only those eight people in. And they will have nutrition that is hammered through to them, hopefully, I hope they're doing that, hammered through to them to make sure that they are getting the best results and they're trying to constantly be on the back to chase them for nutrition to get the best results in eight weeks. Now, the people that jump on this are either people that I would say are just starting and need to learn and educate like different sort of motor patterns, like understanding and educating themselves how to lift properly in certain things. Um, or perhaps it's the first time in the gym or perhaps it is they want to they want someone to be on the case 24 7 with nutrition in a sense of before a holiday before a wedding date before a big date okay but from a financial perspective that is the second tier okay so that's the one that is slightly more expensive okay now the highest tier from a financial point is personal training whether it's one to one two to one or three to one anything more than that it's basically a group okay so one to one, two to one, or three to one, and from a financial perspective, that is the third and highest tier offer. That is, if you looked at it per hour, this would be what people pay the most for. Okay, so it is up to the client and the trainer to sort out their relationship. I don't get involved with it. They charge the price points. I will guarantee that will be anywhere between 30 to 45 pound per hour, long session. Um, most of the trainers will do blocks of 10, blah, 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 but I don't get involved with that. Each trainer organizes their own personal one-on-one -on -one clients and I just let them get on with it and I hope that the service is absolutely perfect and the team of people that I now have right now are the best team that I've ever had. They're much more on the ball than previous coaches and much more on the ball in general with We've given them the scope service. We've given them everything from training, from nutrition, from mindset, to going the extra mile, yada, yada, yada. Now, what do I get from that from a gym perspective or what does Sculpt get? Now, the personal trainers have two offers. So they can choose depending on what they want to do, whether they pay me 30% cut across the board of all of their earnings or a set fee. And most gyms will do this up and down the country, but this is what I've found to be the fairest way. So you basically, most trainers will come in at the 30% scheme until they find their feet, and they know that they're not, they haven't got to pay basically a rent fee at the start on the first of every month. It gives them a little bit of a comfort blanket at the start. However, once they, and we've seen this number a number of times, once they build up a client base where they're really, really beginning to get a lot of clients, getting a lot of revenue, so on, so on, it will then be the case of them probably asking me being like, can I change to the set fee because now it is getting to a lot of money. And with me having respect for that and wanting the best of the best trainers, that is what we do. So basically all of the trainers have two options. They have 30% fee cut off them for the full earnings for the week. That will go into the sculpt and go back into the gym for investment or they pay their set fee for the month. The next avenue of this would be, we have a massage room. So this is another form of income for the gym. So that will be, again, a set fee. So the person that rents the room will pay a set fee for that room. And that is another avenue of income from the gym. 
Another thing from the gym which probably hasn't been taken into account for is merchandise and sales of drinks and sales of anything and everything that is in the gym. So you've got like your knockers, you've got your energy drinks, you've got your protein bars, you've got your merchandise for the gym and generally all that sort of stuff. But that is probably the very, very lowest earner and that is just something that's just a little bit of an add on and we just want to get our brand out there. We don't even actually make that much in the gym because the gym's prices is different to what's online for the clothing and um, the clothing that's in the gym we just want our customers to wear it so it's very very minimal what we make on that whereas the prices online for people who are not representing the brand so much they pay a little bit more the majority of the income in summary will pretty much come from our skull membership which is the most popular which is the most high demand then the second amount of income so to speak that sculpt as a gym gets would be coming from personal trainers rent and personal trainers percentage rent so to speak um, another avenue that it would come from would be the massage rent for the room and any external sort of we could really essentially if you think about it and if you are thinking about opening your own gym i've seen gyms with hairdressers in with um, beauticians. beauticians we now have a new beautician which is coming in the gym so they she's going to have her room and you're basically out contracting a certain set space and you could do that if you were thinking about doing it yourself one of the best things that i did was make sure that our kit was was not financed in any way um, and this is the one thing the one thing that i would say love island which i try not to mention that much actually helped with because when i was doing all of those crazy pas and coming off the back of it and getting a lot of financial gain this allowed us to pay off the gym instantly um, and that was the best biggest savior for us because it it basically got us to the point where everything was revenue everything was profit because from that point apart from the gym rent as a unit as a building everything else was paid off for because quite a lot of gyms like for example the big pure gyms and the big the gym groups that i started off personal training they don't own all their equipment they finance it just like they would finance a car like on pcp and they are the big hitters so to speak where they are just turning over hundreds of thousands of members and the kit's going to get the kit's going to break they don't have a relationship with the clients they have an electronic door system the clients aren't caring about the kit like they would with us but in our sense for our financial gain it was better for us to just get that out of the way try and pay it all off and then it means that we can start afresh and basically make sure that we're at least breaking even from a business point of view so to summarize our five best marketing ways to try and get clients and custom in the gym from a gym perspective and from a personal trainer perspective and i say this to all the pts in the gym the first one would be word of mouth nothing beats word of mouth in a local area and because we are local everyone pretty much around us i would say knows the name of sculpt we are i'd like to think we are one of the ones that when people want to join a gym or want to join a personal trainer we are in the top five of what comes into people's heads the second thing would be marketing through instagram through facebook through basically plastering ourselves everywhere both all of the individual pts are really good at it now didn't used to be but really good at it now and i would say that that's the same with me as the years have gone on the last few years it's completely different when i was 18 you didn't really have to rely on that as much um so plastering it all over social media another thing would be like referrals so people having given people an incentive of being like oh we can try and help you out with x amount of sessions like given one session for free if you bring a friend okay so once that friend comes and you've got them in the door quite a lot of the time we're confident in our service that they will stick on with us um and yeah that is pretty much it just plaster ourselves everywhere trying to use social media for as much benefit as possible and the good old word of mouth and almost flyering okay um i think i've pretty much covered everything there i'm probably gonna hit myself in the face for forgetting one key thing but that is pretty much the runs of sculpt where we get our money from how we try and target clients from how we try and run our offers so our three key offers and what has been most successful for us um i hope that hasn't bored you too much i know this was requested so many times so hopefully there are a lot of personal trainers out there looking to open their own places and i hope you can 
I hope you can take something from it. If there's anything more that you want to know, drop me a comment below. I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. And like I said, I'll be doing Instagram Q and A's about it as well and try and get back to you, okay? I hope you enjoyed the video, but that is all for now. Have a fantastic Sunday, have a fantastic week, okay? And I'll see you in the next video.